you don't see many of these. Let's see, what is this? A 97 Saab 900 Turbo. Oh, it looks like it's kind of beat up pretty good. Let's see what the engine looks like here. This is the most GM versions. But there's some parts in here. If you want to do like a T5 conversion, I think this is what you would take it out of. But nice looking car back in the day. All right, let me do a quick video, show you where the um, ECU is, um, uh, so you just take out a bunch of these Torx screws and uh, pull out the uh, glove box and you just peel back the, uh, the um, carpeting here and then you just, back here is a pull tab and you kind of just pull this and that'll unplug from the ECU. And uh, I think there was just one torque screw here and it would just slide right out. So that's how you get, uh, get the ECU out if you're doing a T5 conversion. So just a few torque screws and then pull that and then that's out. Next, uh, you wanna pull the cassette out. Uh, so I've already, I've already got it out, but uh, it was just in here like that. Four bolts, yanks right out, unplug it you're good. Uh, the turbo control valve was right here. Uh, so the TCU was here. Just unplug it, pull out the vacuum lines. Uh, so that's, that's done. Uh, the crankshaft position sensor, I'm sorry, the um, throttle position sensor was obviously on the throttle body. A couple small torque screws pulled that off. The um, air control valve, or air temperature sensor, I think, was right here. Uh, so just pull off the tubing, pull that from there. Uh, so right now what I'm gonna do is try and get down here to these injectors and then look for the uh, map sensor. And, oh, um, there was one more sensor that was on this tubing. So there was a sensor there and just pulled that off, so. All right, I think I've been, may, I may have been looking at it the entire time, but I believe this is the map sensor so let me uh let me pull it off here and um check the part number but i believe that's it all right so i'm back at this uh saab 900 turbo and i'm just trying to pick some more parts off um in case i want to do a t5 conversion later so what I forgot to get last time was the crankshaft position center, which the uh, sensor, which you see is right there. Um, and I undid the bolt from the bottom. It was just easier to reach from the bottom. Um, I took out some tubing here, tried to access it from the top, but it just seemed like it was a lot easier to pull it from the bottom. So it's just a 10 millimeter uh, bolt. And once you get it out, uh, you want to fish it up here. There's a wire um, where it plugs into. And I think the wire comes up around here. And then so you just press press that and then the wire pulls out and then you can kind of fish it through here. Um, and let me finish fishing it through and then I'll uh, come right back. So yeah, that's, that's the crankshaft position sensor. So you can buy these new. Um, which, you know, if I was having a little more trouble with that, it took me about uh, 20 minutes to get that 10 millimeter bolt on there. You'll see it doesn't go straight on. It's actually at a slight angle. Uh, so I think that was throwing me off. I didn't want to round off the, the bolt, but it kind of angles upward a little bit uh, to get it fully seated. Um, so everything on the Saab is slightly slanted, right? So even the crankshaft position center where it bolts into the head is slightly slanted. Uh, 
I'm not gonna bother pulling the wiring harness. This one looks kind of beat up and it's been out here for a while in the, in the heat out here. I think it, it's gonna get a little crispy. So if I end up doing a T5 conversion, what I think I'm gonna do is just order a, a new wiring harness from one of the online suppliers. And, but I've got basically everything else, the map sensor, uh, crankshaft position sensor, uh, the cassette. I may try to look for a better cassette, uh, but got most of the pieces there. Thanks for watching.